The world is filled with pimps and hoes We'll just talk about those I know Madison's RSD here, chilling, coming at you in beautiful downtown Toronto. Just left the club. And I wanted to chat to you guys today about something that is infuriating me, just completely pissing me off. And that is meekness. Meekness, meekness, good old weakness, okay? This meekness is something that I've found that guys have a lot in our day and age. I think it's maybe happened since guys don't know their place in, in culture anymore, right? If you look at how um, women now thankfully have the right to vote, they can get jobs and, and everything like that that men can get. But I found that men have really lost their place in the environment of the world, they don't know really how to carry themselves. They become very, very meek. Meek little mama's boys that, uh, that don't know how to handle themselves, right? It's like, you know the expression, the meek shall inherit the earth? Well, the meek shall inherit no passe, no vagina, right? So I wanna to talk to you guys about that today, how to overcome it, and talk to you about some, some thoughts that I have on it, uh, and some practical steps you can do to, to eradicate that from your life, right? So now, first of all, um, what does that meekness even look like? A lot of times on a boot camp, we'll see a guy doing an approach, and his approach is like the little half hand, like not even full hand of God. It's like, not like this, like, it's not that, it's like, Baby Tyrannosaurus Rex hand of, hand of God, right? <laughs> Baby Tyrannosaurus Rex hand of God. And it's not even like vocal tonality, it's like pss, pss, like little whispers, like the girl doesn't even see him go by, right? Uh, my friend Sam with the RSD crew, he refers to it as mosquito approaches. A little mosquito approach we'll do every every once in a while. But you know, if it's your whole, your whole uh, bag of tricks, it's not gonna work out for you. So you gotta erase that, right? And what does it even look like in the guy's eyes when he's doing that, uh, that mosquito approach? It's like, he has the Bambi eyes. Usually in RSD we talk about girls getting Bambi eyes like as a sign of attraction, but a man getting Bambi eyes, like those big wide eyes of fear on the approach is not a good thing, right? So you gotta kind of eradicate that as well. Um, you know, it's funny, I was talking to Tyler about this uh, the other day, we are at a spa hanging out in uh, California, IA, and we're hanging out at the spa and he says to me, you know what, Madison, I don't think we're like other people. I go, what do you mean? And we have this conversation and basically we're like, you know what, everybody who rolls with the RSD crew is a straight up hustler, straight up hustler. They don't care about like little petty things. They don't let it get to them, right? So what does that look like? They're problem solvers. They can handle things on the fly. They are able to uh, find solutions. And basically they rise to the occasion whenever something happens, right? Whenever a situation comes up, they rise to the occasion. Our brains work differently. I want you to imagine how your brain or somebody you know's brain might work and how my brain works. So my brain basically sees a situation it figures, you know what, I deserve better than this. It gets really, really pissed off, really, really aggravated, really upset, and it engages another level where I have to think better, think harder, be smarter, be faster, and rise to the occasion and then be able to uh, uh, handle that situation, right? Overcome the situation. A lot of guys, when they have that, that same challenge, they just kind of disengage and their brains don't do that. So it's, it's a real, it's a real, it's something to think about because you, know, you want to eventually get yourself where your mind is going in that direction. Now think about it from a woman's perspective, right? From a woman's perspective, if, here, here, really like underline this, like underline this in your mind. If you can't handle her, how could you handle the world for her? If you can't protect her, how could you protect her in the world? This absolutely makes no sense, right? She needs to see that you don't have that meekness, that you have that emotional resolve deep down through and through. So that if something happens and she rolls with you, she eventually knows, hey, you know what, this guy, he's ride or die, he's got my back, he can handle me, he can handle whatever life throws at me, right? I mean, picture like motherfucking like Game of Thrones. Like, I don't really watch that show a lot, but remember back in Game of Thrones there was this queen, this, the, the dragon queen lady, before she was a dragon queen, she married this dude, this guy's big jacked, right? Um, tattoos, just barbaric. And I think he used to like slice up and kill people just like to make a point, like, hey girl, I will kill some people just so you know that I got this. I got this. Now, not recommending that you go and do that, but just trying to make an illustration of a girl needs to know that you got her back. She needs to know that you can handle the world and therefore also you can handle her. Uh, she sees that when she throws a little shit test at you, right? Uh, so we're gonna crack into another location and uh, we'll do some more of this and I'll explain exactly how you could uh, go about in your life getting those, uh, those skills and how you can go about toughening yourself up and erasing that weakness. All right. I am going to give you the unos, dos, tres, cuatro, one, two, three, four, under trois, quatre, steps to eradicate that weakness, or that bitch assness from your life. All right, number one, look into Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Not Wing Chun, not karate, not fencing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Do it for about four, four months or three months at least, right? Now, why Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm happy to tell you. 
why you're watching, right? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because it makes you come to grips with reality. Hardcore grips with reality. You're gonna be wrestling with dudes on the floor, okay? It's gonna be very hard, excruciating, excruciatingly painful, depressing, and it's sometimes very disappointing. And your, your ego's gonna get crushed. Crush, crush, crush. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is gonna allow you to come to terms with reality. So when you go up to that girl, you know what, you face her, hey, anything she says, anything she does, not even a problem, you've handled worse throughout the day, okay? Number two, what do I wanna mention for number two? I wanna say cold showers. Now, there's some studies that might recommend that cold showers happen to help you uh, with testosterone. I don't know about that, but the gist of it is, Doing a cold shower, right, um, you start off with a warm shower, your regular warm shower, and then you just take the handle and you turn it cold for about 10 or 15 seconds and then back to warm. And you do two or three cycles of this. Not only does it wake up your nerves, right, your, your nerves within your body, but it says to, your, says to your, mental, uh, your mental faculties, okay, there's some trauma coming up and you're gonna be a man, you're gonna man up, you're gonna step into it and you're gonna be able to handle it, okay? So that's what it does, that's one thing that it does. Uh, number two is, Number two, we'll come back this way. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap backwards for a bit. Number two is uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get you used to dealing with that trauma, and it's going to get you used to uh, putting yourself in situations on a regular basis that you're uncomfortable in, okay? Uh, what's another point? The big, big point number three is public speaking. Try to do something like Toastmasters, right? Toastmasters is a, is a public speaking organization where I think once a week you go and you practice your public speaking skills. Now, doing that regularly, will enable you to project your voice on the regular, enable you to use tonality, enable you to uh, speak through people, etc. Be confident in groups. Now, the cool thing about Toastmasters, we can go a little faster here, the cool thing about Toastmasters is you're gonna develop your public speaking skills. Even for me, in RSD, I was okay before I got into it. I was not bad, right? I had some practice doing it. But I really, really got good when I started going on tour and doing it every week. Chicago, LA, Vegas, New York, Boston, Washington, da da da, San Fran. When I started doing it every single week, that's how I'm able to go out and kill it. That's how I'm able to go and do these vlogs very easily because I'm used to the public speaking. I've got that flow going on, right? I don't have to think about it. It's second nature, okay? Um, so we talked about public speaking, we talked about cold showers, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, last is mixed sets. Okay, everybody loves to talk to the bachelorette party. Everybody loves to talk to that group of fun girls who are on the dance floor. Nobody likes to go to the mix set, the big dude, the jack dude with the tattoos. Going to mix sets regularly and regularly will give your, your brain that proof, not promise. Okay, your brain wants proof, not promises. Okay, if you do that often enough, your brain will start to have those, you know, we sometimes call them reference experiences, but I'll call them memories. Your brain will start to have the memories of, oh shit, this is okay to talk to dudes, it's okay to talk to girls in situations, and I'm not dead. I'm still alive, I'm still here. And you know what, last but not least, I'll give you guys one bonus. One bonus I'm gonna throw in there. The bonus is, I know I said four, but I'll make it five. Squats, squats, hardcore squats in the gym, powerlifting squats, proven to be tough, Proven to challenge your faculties mentally and proven to actually raise testosterone in the body. So there you have it. Madison's four plus one bonus ways of eradicating uh, meekness in your mind and in your body. So feel free to subscribe to this video, this channel. I'd, I'd appreciate that. We can be friends. We can keep in touch. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. There's be some links below. And uh, keep in touch. Don't be a stranger.